you about a Utah man who was building something out of this world with the help of Cold War spy technology and a bag of popsicle sticks. Well, as Peter Rosen reports, he just finished it, and it's one for the record books. By day, Mike Clements drives a truck to Idaho and back. By night, he travels much, much farther. A few years ago, Clements, an amateur astronomer, bought a very large telescope mirror. Every time I look at it, I'm amazed. Produced during the Cold War for a spy satellite. I guess to, to read license plates, uh, you know, in, in Russia. <laughs> he spent all his spare time and money building a telescope to hold the mirror. Do you think about this a lot? Constantly. Oh, yeah, yeah, beyond obsessed, if, there's, if there are degrees of obsession. He's got nothing on paper. Nothing? Nothing. So you don't have any blueprints? None. It's all up there? Right. In your head? Right. Weird, huh? <laughs> he, he did make a model out of, out of, out of uh, popsicle sticks. Peter, are you ready? Finally. Are you ready? After a year and a half... Is that for real? His telescope is complete. Finished. I can't believe it. As long as a school bus... It's about 35 feet. ...with an almost 6-foot wide mirror... It's, uh, 70 inches. It is the largest amateur telescope... It's the largest amateur telescope in the world. Anywhere. In the world. Right. I mean, I mean, I'm the first to admit it's not highly practical. Anybody could build this. Anybody could build this. I, I, I want to say to people, you could build this. Mike is a positive, 100 mile an hour type guy. He, he sets his, his goals and, and, and he jumps on things. You can just see that in his telescope. It was grassroots from the beginning to the end. Now, as the sun sets... Mike Clements prepares to go places. Almost like going on vacation, almost like, you know, you can go to a different location in your own backyard. Light years away. Uh, the universe. The universe. You know, the, the choice is yours, what, where, however far you want to go, so, so to speak. The sky's the limit. Peter Rosen, KSL 5 News. That is so cool.